space are really popular current trends in design. And as students, you can really improve your portfolio by having designs that show off your ability to create minimalist designs and designs with a lot of white space. Now, minimalist designs are, are, are very simple designs. Usually, they fall into the monochromatic rule of color theory. Um, usually, they'll feature a single focal point um, and some text and then just a lot of white open area around that text. Um, that doesn't mean that the design is unbalanced or that the design is uh, empty feeling, but it just it gives it a feeling of cleanness to it that, uh, that I think we can all really benefit from. So I want to show you a couple strategies for using a monochromatic uh, rule for color theory and also using white space and minimalism. So if we were to start with a single image such as a logo and I'm just going to use my custom shape tool to create a really simple logo right now. Let's use this trophy here and as I said, when I like to design, I'll start with grayscale at first, and then I'll add color to it later. All right, so this, this design is going to have this trophy, and now we're going to have some text underneath it. Now, in order for our minimalism to work, we want that trophy, that image, to be the primary focal point. So the text that we choose to put underneath this image is going to be smaller. It's not going to be a bold type of text and it's going to not draw too much attention to itself. I need to Okay, so this is going to be a company called Trophy LLC. So right now, this uh, design doesn't really feel minimalist. It doesn't really feel balanced either because it, it's competing for your attention. The text is kind of saying like, here I am, I'm kind of hard to see, but I keep on drawing your eye downward. I'm, I'm taking my attention away from the trophy because the choice of font here is kind of complicated and it's very large. Um, some other fonts that students like to use a lot but are really not very contemporary and not very minimalist are things like like the rosewood fonts and the Algerian fonts. Fonts that are really fancy and ornate looking and large, these, these draw way too much attention to themselves and they distract from your design. So if you're going for a very contemporary design, use a font that does not draw too much its attention to itself. Fonts like Trajan, Garamond, Helvetica, So I'll use Garamond, and you can see there I have the caps on. Put a little comma there. How about that? That looks kind of fancy. Maybe I'll do all lowercase for LLC. No, I like uppercase. Okay, so this is off to a good start, but it's too big. How do you know it's too big? Well, if your text is competing for attention, with your logo, then it's too big. So let's hit Command T. Command T is our transform controls, and I'm going to shrink this down. Now this is helping a little bit, but you know what I'm noticing? I'm just I'm paying so much attention to the 
the use of capitals, right? It's kind of distracting a little bit. So what if I were to just stick to all lowercase letters or all uppercase letters? Then we could get a design that's, uh, that's a little bit more simple. So I'll try all uppercase first. And I'm actually kind of liking this. The all uppercase has a kind of elegant feeling to it. And I think if we mix this with a little bit of kerning or tracking, it could be really nice. So I'm going to go to my text. I am going to go up to the uh, character panel at the top of the screen. It's like a little notebook that has some, some uh, little icons on it there. And what I'm going to do is increase the tracking by looking for this, this um, drop down menu here that's next to the V and the A and then the arrow is stretching it apart. Now watch what's going to happen. As I increase the number here, the letters get spaced apart. And this has a nice feeling of white space to it. I might hit Command T and then just shrink this down a little bit more. But the white space helps to make that text readable. It also helps to give you that, that kind of open feeling that we want for our modern contemporary sorts of designs. And um, now that this is in grayscale, we can apply color to it using the techniques that I've showed you, either blending modes or adjustment layers. Now in this case, I'm just going to throw a hue saturation adjustment layer over this design. I'm going to click Colorize. And now I'll just scroll through the different hues and see if there is a color that seems to work for this design. Now sometimes in a design you'll have to add a few other elements, maybe a website address or a tagline. If so, just make that tagline, make that website address much smaller than your text so it doesn't draw too much attention to itself. 